Take us back to Christmas Eve 2011. You're almost robbed at gunpoint. Yeah. Tell us about that story. Yeah, so I uh, I get my hair cut in the hood in Philly. Philly, it's grimy out. 22nd Indiana. Indiana. Just keep it real. You do everything in the hood. You ain't never changed. You do yeah. everything yeah. in the hood. <laughs> it is what it is. So. And let me tell y'all, too, if you look on the map in on Atlanta, Georgia, you're going to see Lou Willville. Yeah, facts. Yeah, facts. This is real thing. Facts. Proud of my boy. But uh, I was in Philly, and I was actually with my man. And um, just full disclosure, since it's y'all, mm -hmm. of course he was scrapped. Yeah, you know of course. Just at all times. Protecting each other. And so uh, when I was done getting my hair cut, I was at the light, and I remember he called me. He said, "Yo, you good?" I said, "Yeah, I'm going home." He said, "All right, bet." And I watched him U-turn behind me and go the other way. He U-turned, I looked down at my phone at the light, and I just heard click, click, click. Somebody knock on my window. So I'm like, the fuck? Look up. Bro got the gun on me. I don't know why, but I rolled the window down. That's just that's just where my mind took me. I rolled the window down. And he like, get out the car. And I said, huh? And when I said, huh, he looked at me, he said, Lou. I can't even do it to you, bro. I got too much love for you. Mm. And at that time, um, me and Meek, uh, me and Meek Mill, we was doing a lot of coat drives. We was doing a lot of stuff in the communities, um, that particular community. You mm -hmm. know, we just we just had our, our footprint on it. Um, that's his neighborhood. Um, Philly had adopted me, and so whatever I was doing over there, he would get behind me. Whatever he was doing, I would get behind him. Mm -hmm. Nonetheless, we was doing a lot for that community at the time. And the dude said, he said, man, I can't even do it to you. He said, man, I just got out of jail. All I got is this gun and a bus token to get home, bro. I ain't got nothing to eat. And I just was thinking fast. I looked. I said, look, bro, it's a McDonald's right there. You meet me at the McDonald's. I'll buy you whatever you want to eat. He said, all right, cool. So my first thought was, do I let him get in my car? Mm -hmm. I was like, hell no. Nah. <laughs> so I just, I started driving first. Yeah. So I drove, went into the McDonald's, and I watched him running across the street to the McDonald's. So while he running to the McDonald's, I call my man, yeah, like, yo, pull back up. Pull back up. I'm like, pull up to the McDonald's. Pull up to the McDonald's. So they, they made the story like I sat down and ate with him on some, nah, hell no. Nah. That motherfucker ordered food. I swiped my car. Yeah. I shook his hand. I said, God bless, bro, but this ain't the way. Yeah. And by that time, my man was walking in McDonald's. I got the fuck out of there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So yeah. that's the that's the real story. It yeah. ain't no, he got sat in the down car. Sat had a meal. Y'all share some ketchup? Yeah. Nah, hell nah. It didn't go like that. Y'all follow each other on IG afterwards and shit. Nah, it didn't go like that. <laughs> nah, but that's that. That's but, crazy. That's lucky. But, I mean, shout out to homie, whoever mm -hmm. he is. But know, that's, that, but that's the testament to who you are, though. Right. Like a buster would have got smoked and robbed right there. No, you know what I'm saying? The fact that you was in the community, the fact that they know you be around there, like that that says a lot about you, bro. Very few yeah. players could do that. Yep. Very few players. Because I was down bad. I'm keeping real. Yeah. I'm scared shitless. Yeah. I ain't going to flex.